This is the video you need to conquer your next fear. Once upon a time, I was afraid of uploading a YouTube video. And this might come as a surprise to you because I've uploaded more than 200 videos, but it took me 18 months to upload my first video. My excuse was that I needed a camera, a good camera. I needed good lighting. In the end, I actually filmed on my iPhone sitting in front of an open window for light. That's the thing when it comes to fears, they tend to hold us back and it doesn't make sense because when I interrogated my fear, I realized that the reason I was afraid was because I was afraid of other people's judgment. And when I checked in further and I dug in further, whose judgment am I afraid of? I started thinking of people I went to school with, people who don't like me, people I don't even know putting hate comments in, the, in my comments. And it sounds ridiculous now because those people don't even matter whether they put comments or not. It doesn't really matter because they're not important in my life. So the day I actually filmed my video was a normal day, but I did something really important that I want to share with you is I sat down and interrogated my fear. I got to understand why I was afraid. What was I really afraid of? For me, it was other people's judgment. And then I asked myself, because that thing hasn't happened yet, what assumptions am I making about that thing happening, about the outcome? And are these assumptions based on fact or fiction? And then I finally told myself, what am I going to do today to take action and get this done? And that's when I actually just put my phone in front of a window and started filming. And I want you to do the same. If you ever feel that your fears are holding you back, ask yourself the question, what are you really afraid of? Because sometimes what you think you're afraid of until you really interrogate it, you find out that you have deeper fears, fears that might even stem from your childhood. And then ask yourself, what assumptions are you making about how this will go, how this will end? Because you're making assumptions about whether it's going to go well or not. And it hasn't happened yet. And I want you to know that if you're a business owner and really that's the reason why I'm making this video because business owners go through a lot every day, every so often we go through a lot of ups and downs and it's a challenge just being in business. So I want to tell you that if you're a business owner, this is a skill that you want to um, practice. You want to practice conquering your fears because you're going to have a lot of situations that are going to call you to do that. And just know that you've got this. And I know you've got this because, first of all, despite all the alarming stats about businesses and how many of them fail in the first year, you went ahead and started your business. Maybe you even hired people and now those people are, are dependent on you for their livelihood. You know, you took those steps. So I know you can do it. And I know you've dealt with difficult situations, making pitches in front of clients who are lukewarm, barely interested in what it is that you're selling. Maybe they don't even really know what it is that they want. But you finish that pitch and you send in another one and you keep showing up every day. You've done difficult things. You've conquered difficult things in your life, whether in your business or in your personal life. I know you have. So you're going to conquer this one too. And just know that every step that you make, despite fear, is a step that will move you towards growth, the growth that you need for the next level.